an upcoming battle report, I'll be using some human defence force. So I bought and printed these lovely Grimguard minis from Station Forge. The game is in a couple of days, so I need a speed paint technique to blast through these. However, I've also been interested in trying out some camo for a while. So why don't we see camo very often in mini painting? Well, when you think about its function, it becomes quite obvious. Camouflage is supposed to break up silhouettes and obscure details, making you harder to spot or hit and that is the exact opposite of what mini painting is about. At this scale, we do all we can with shades and highlighting to make the designs clear. So, as some kind of crazy person, I've given myself the mission to make something speed painty that is clearly camo but also doesn't mess up the model. Easy. So in this video, I'll be trying out four different techniques I thought could work well. I've got some different base coats down for each one and I'm going to do a variety of colours but it's just so I don't get too bored really. The colour doesn't really matter, it's just the technique. My two goals with the actual pattern are that A, it has to have an interesting pattern and B, it has to have obvious lines, nothing that kind of blends and makes it look like it might just be a bit of shading. The first is the rough side of a sponge. I use a soft side for weathering all the time and the solid bits should create good patterns here because they're a bit firmer. So I dunk it in my paint, I wipe it off on some paper, I dab a little bit until it looks like it's giving some cool little patterns and then I'm just going to try it. Next is a slightly loosened cotton bud. This should hold paint well and the thin strands make a nice pattern. So I kind of tease it out just a little bit until it's a bit loose, then dab it in the paint, dab it all off on the paper again, and just go at it. I think with camo you should always try and use three or four colours, so that's what I'm doing on these. And I just basically go between them. If one's looking a bit underrepresented, I'll just go back over it. So the third technique is some kitchen roll. When you screw it into a ball it gets all these little folds and uneven textures and this could print quite a nice pattern. Also there's a lot of surface area to play around with so the pattern won't repeat. So again I find these little cornery areas that I like, dunk it in my paint, dab it all off and then just go to town on that. Finally, to take it up a notch, I want to try digital camouflage because it's my favourite type of camo really. For this I'll be creating a kind of stamp with a makeup sponge. I take my scalpel and carefully cut just a couple of millimetres in. Do it in lines first and then the other way to make a grid. Then I just pick out a few of the squares in each area and as I went through I decided to pick out a few more to break up the pattern even more. Right then, here are the results. In my opinion, the sponge made a cool pattern and was quite easy. However, the only thing that concerned me was that it was depositing a fair bit of paint and giving the card a lumpy texture. I can see that being an issue on a mini. The cotton bud made really nice marks to start with, but the cotton quickly stuck together and made very useless blobs. To get a good effect would take either a lot of cotton buds or you'd just need a lot of time because you'd have to clean it after about 20 seconds of use each time. The kitchen roll however made some awesome patterns and was quick and simple. The other good thing about it is that you could use the corners to dab into little gaps and crevices so on a mini that has a load of texture you could easily get those areas. The sponge stamp didn't really work, digital camo needs to be smaller to look right, also the squares were breaking up so the lines between colours didn't really stay obvious. It's a shame because I really would have liked to make that work. Digital camo is just so cool. So there we go, what do you think worked best? 
I've definitely got my preference and I'm going to be putting that on a vehicle tonight. This has been a kind of shorter video just because I'm getting ready for this battle report and the start of an ongoing campaign. But thank you anyway for watching. As always, links to my other socials and Patreon down in the description. I really appreciate it if you give those a look. Any support would massively help me with the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.